The Expendables 3 is a PG-13 and a 12A in the UK. Um, no, 12A you, is PG-13 yeah. equivalent. So, so when did you realise that you would be able to make the action film you wanted at that rating? Um, it, was, uh, it was decided actually from the onset. As, because I'd seen the cutting edge of the Bourne series and James Bond, I'm saying, this is pretty violent. I mean, the only thing missing here is just that extra two seconds of gore. And, but there was such a backlash, because I'm kind of an R guy, that we had to overcome that. I, and I just want to say to people, just wait till the movie, just, it, because the, I, I knew what was coming mm. anyway. But anyway, it was from the beginning, I just had to keep quiet about it until the Cannes Film Festival. And do you think it's kind of crazy because it's such a high body count and ratings seem a bit kind of silly? I think the world is becoming immune. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stimulus from body counts. Yeah, it, it is, but it isn't, if you look at it, it really isn't um, grotesque. Mm. Sort of like, if you should see the stuff we took out. You, it's a big difference from a knife plunge to a wide shot. It's just the movement, but you get the intention. You know what's going down. So I don't think it's disturbing at all. But then again, total film may disagree with me. And you also got to think, we have action nonstop throughout this movie. Mm. So if you think, every, every time someone's dead, or that you know we kill them, two extra seconds just to show the gore, the movie would be an extra 30 minutes long. <laughs> So That's it already right. played, it's so quick. You it's, see guys blowing up left and right, flying. You don't need to process the gore. You no. just see it larger than life because of the body count. And slippery everywhere. It's, People <laughs> sliding all over the place. I knew he was going to have plenty of gunplay, plenty of action, plenty of fight action. Uh, and, you know, usually his taste it leans towards pretty gritty and grimy type of uh, uh, scenes and so I didn't have any um, worries about the PG-13 mm -hmm. nature, but I was actually quite happy because there's not very many films that my children have had a chance to see because of the nature, of the R mm -hmm. nature of the films I've been in. Yeah, um, I remember in Zorro we have the same problem. So you basically in, in Zorro you couldn't see blood. I mean you can see that you are stabbing somebody, but uh, you cannot see a lot of uh, blood and stuff like that. I, I don't know really. I don't, I don't know what is the measure that they use for that. Um, you know, bad language and, and and violence to a certain point, I guess. And so we just uh, uh, feed that thing that they have in mind. So um, I don't think that actually the movie, because the movie is not completely realistic. I never saw it like that. I th I, I see it more like a comic book, really. You know, it's almost almost like a choreography uh, to use violence for, for doing choreography. So they have a motorcycle. You will never see a motorcycle going that high. You know, it, it's that type of action. You know, uh, if you are if you are in a movie like The Hard Locker or uh, you know Left Alone, in movies like that, then then you actually you 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 can be very aggressive. Uh, you know, very graphic in the violence, but in this type of movies you just see the bad guys falling like they are not even human beings, it's something really weird. Or, or that's the way as an spectator that I always saw it, you know.